When you're out in your garden, do you ever take the time to look a little closer at what's going on out there? And that's exactly what I did this weekend, when I spotted lots of glistening spiderwebs following an overnight downpour. At least that's what I thought they were, until I got much closer I was surprised at what I found. These are tent caterpillars huddling together in order to keep warm on a spring morning. How incredible. These guys hatch from their eggs and as a social colony immediately set about producing silk tents. The tents are constructed facing the rising sun. This is critical for their survival to help maintain body heat. The nestling group can keep their temperature to some 30 degrees centigrade warmer than the ambient air temperature on a cold morning. So how big are these larvae? I grabbed a cocktail stick from the kitchen so that you can see the scale. I couldn't believe how small it was. These little caterpillars are stripping my bush bare, but I'm not mad. No, far from it. By leaving them to devour this foliage, they leave my fruit trees alone. A natural way of controlling what would otherwise be viewed as a pest. And I don't need any nasty pesticides either. <sighs> when they are fully grown, which takes approximately seven to eight weeks, the caterpillars start to cocoon themselves. The first cocoons are appearing at the bottom here. Within a day, all but three caterpillars have cocooned themselves. Then at three days, they are all cocooned. Hmm. <clears throat> they remain like this for around two weeks before the adult moth emerges. They are both tiny and beautiful. Females secrete a pheromone shortly after enclosing from their cocoon which will draw males to her. After mating, she will lay her eggs and will die shortly after. Whilst male moths live for a week or more, the female only lives for around 24 hours. 